Hello, Scorpio. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be another um, love and general forecast for March 1st through the 15th. Super excited to be here. I hope you guys are well. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know if it resonates. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for sure, you guys. Okay, because I heard that some of my Scorpio viewers weren't getting the notification. So just an extra little reminder. All right, my Scorpios, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I have all my information below to book a personal. Um, I am booked right now, but if you want to shoot me an email and if I have an open slot, you know, I'll take you on. Okay. So for those of you, um, I do have a giveaway going on right now Scorpio so check out my Instagram I have testimonials reviews I do pick a card readings on there I also post manifestation tips um I post a bunch of random you know stuff on there spiritual content really I, I try to be motivating um and I talk about meditation a lot like a bunch of cool stuff so check me out if you would like to donate to my channel please be you know feel free to do so um, I have my Amazon tarot wish list at the bottom in the description box. I also really, really want um, some independent decks. I'm really open to indie decks, especially the high tarot. I'll link it below. Um, and if you're feeling extra generous, then, you know, you can go for the independent deck. Okay. But either way, thank you for showing up. Let's get started. So general energies for Scorpio. I'm going to switch decks, okay? Let me get some channeled energy here. March 1st through the 15th. Okay, some of you guys have a lot of creative ideas. There's like an awakening of, of big, big ideas and big transformations here. Um, a lot of this is happening through source, meaning through your crown chakra, through your upper chakras. So this is happening in formation, I'm hearing, in formation. So energy is really, really, really going to be big in terms of creativity. You've been thinking about a master plan in your life, and I feel like this is in regards to not only business, but family. There's something about your family that's going to be very um, important here and very significant for you, Scorpio. It's like you guys want to expand finances within your family. Some of you guys may um, get an inheritance. Um, you may hear about an inheritance, okay? Um, some of you guys may come into some money unexpectedly is what I'm seeing, and I feel like there's a desire here, Scorpio, to share it with someone in your family or to have a more close relationship with your family. I feel like you're feeling very inspired to get grounded with this Archangel Michael energy, to get more grounded within your heart space. There's a feeling of wanting to be nurtured and to nurture the beginning of March, okay? I'm hearing foundation first. So there is a focus here on money, getting really stable and secure within your finances, okay? And becoming more, um, more grounded in your purpose. I'm hearing the element of surprise. What's happening for my Scorpios? General. Okay, some of you guys have been having some conflict with your children. So this is saying let go of control, okay? Let go of control. Allow yourself to be more, more um, free-spirited with your child, you guys. You really need some balance with your emotions, okay? Um, because there is a need to kind of control something within your family life. So if you let, loosen up the grip a little bit, I feel like you're going to get the results that you want. This is specifically towards a child. You guys have been kind of in a place where you've been um, needing to control or something. An outcome is what I'm hearing. 
there is going to be a new start of romance, which is why you guys have been so centered around your heart chakra, okay? It's like you're really trying to open yourself up. You want to give someone the key, the key to your heart, okay? Like you're allowing love in in a different way. I'm hearing a different flow for you. Okay, general energies for Scorpio, please. March 1st through the 15th. Okay, some of you guys um, work in an environment where you're constantly feeling like you're criticized is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, the focus for you, interestingly enough, is going to be about also your looks. Some of you guys are really stressed out about the way you look or you feel like you need to kind of go above and beyond with your looks. Um, you want to change something about how you've been feeling. And I feel like there's a self-consciousness um, surrounding the belly area. Like some of you guys don't like your belly and there's going to be a diet implemented or a focus on exercise, which is fine. But spirit is asking you to get more in tune with that self-love. You see the Empress is a little bit, um, she's curvy, honey. She's not skinny. Okay. So this is about embracing your divine feminine. So this whole image disorder or, you know, this, this distorted image within yourself of not feeling pretty enough is coming from the wound that you have with your own mother. A lot of you guys have not healed your connection to the mother. You have not healed your womb energy. Your sacral chakra is really important to focus on in terms of your divinity and your self-love. So if you are focusing too much on outward appearances, you're not, you're missing the inside transformation. It's not the belly that needs to change. It's something within you of accepting the divine feminine. There's an, a, I'm hearing a repression or a blocked energy when it comes to feminine energies or your own femininity. So a lot of you have been in a masculine power and your masculine like assertiveness, which is fine. But this energy in the general reading is helping you focus more on gentleness, on your femininity, on being able to receive, on being more open about letting people help you or being more um, receptive to other women. If you're a feminine Scorpio, there's a mistrust with women. You don't trust women, okay? Because of your mother or there's a very intense secret, very secret, very hidden, okay? For some, maybe a secret jealousy towards women if they have something that you feel that you don't have, which is impossible because Scorpios have all the elegance, all the power. You guys have three different versions of your transformation. The eagle, what is it? The the scorpion, the eagle, the phoenix. We don't get none of that. There's no other sign that gets that, okay? You guys are very powerful. So, the fact, I think what's happening, Scorpio, is that you guys are really imbalanced right now. You're trying to juggle a lot. You're trying to push. You're trying to make something of yourself. I feel like there's an energy of motherhood that's really coming through strong. Some of you guys are newly pregnant or you will be getting pregnant. And there's a, there's like an insecurity around this this energy, around feeling like things are changing for you. You don't look the same. You don't feel the same. Um there's a need to bring in more balance, bring in more structure, focus on your marriage or focus on your partnerships in a traditional way. This is actually emphasizing, you know, to go back to your roots. I don't know why for some of you, look at your culture. Is your culture... Um, focused on skinny, on being very thin. I don't know why there's a body image thing going on here. Um, you may want to go back to your roots. Your ancestors were not, were not skin and bones, honey. Okay. So I don't know. I'm getting that from this hierophant, but this is also about you guys deciding in general to take off from tradition. Some of you guys are, are maybe in a religion where it's very restrictive and you guys are have to be a certain way. Like you have to be ball and chain to your mother or your father or your family. And you guys, you know, you know what? In March, you're taking off, honey. 
Some of you guys are going to relocate. You're deciding to move away from your family or you're just simply deciding to move away from this expectation or this role that has been kind of drawn out for you. You don't want to do it anymore. You're like, I don't want to be forced to be this. So some of you guys are going to take off in a new direction. There is a lack of listening to your intuition right now. Some of you guys need to tune in and balance your emotions. There's this really harsh energy surrounding your self-esteem that is coming from your own inner child wounding. For whatever reason, I think that the more success you're having, Scorpio, the more insecurity you are having about your 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 beauty or your physical or your love life or anything. It feels like there's a lot of poverty consciousness surrounding this, this transformation that you're going through. So... I feel like you got to bring your, your energies, your yin yang energies into balance because what's happening is this lack of fulfillment of who you are and who you want to become, this, this need to be someone else or to detach from your own physical body is creating a distortion within yourself. And you don't tell people, but I feel like maybe someone here, there was a secret, a, a Scorpio secret that came out here and this really made you publicly feel embarrassed or it made you feel shamed of some, some way, somehow. Um, but you need to start being more discerning as well. You guys need to stop telling your family shit right now. I'll tell you right now. Do not bring up manifestation to your family. You need to manifest in silence because your family, it's almost like I'm getting like people who are close to you, like family who are actually manifesting against you because they're jealous. Or you guys have been a little bit envious of your family lately. Maybe there's someone in your family that is triggering um, a memory of your mother. It could be family or someone you consider as family. And this is creating a lot of jealous energy. So be careful. Bring It's not a bad thing, right? It's like we, it, whatever, we all experience these feelings. There's nothing to be ashamed about when we feel envious or jealous. It's just how we react to those negative emotions because we shouldn't feel that way. So Instead of being shameful and being guilty about feeling that way, I want you guys to take on a new perspective. I want you guys to observe it from a place of non-attachment. Observe that feeling from a place of acknowledgement. Acknowledge that you feel that way and then discover why. Start peeling the layers of why. I'm getting an energy that some of you guys have been seeing, um, maybe a, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Leo, Sag, Aries, um, really kind of glow. Or this is someone either in your family or someone in your close friend group. And you secretly kind of, some of my Scorpios, this isn't all, or it could be the other way around. Take it as it resonates. There's a bit of a competition here or feeling jealous or envious about this person. Maybe they had a recent transformation or a glow up and you feel denied something that belongs to you. Like that belongs to you. Like that's your crown. But listen, or this could be vice versa that this person is feeling like this about you. Like you recently had a glow up in your life maybe a transformation physically, you know, your aura looks good, you look bright, and this person's hating, right? But your job is to, if you are on the side of the spectrum of feeling a little bit jelly, is to understand where it's coming from, okay? It's not that you're evil. You're not evil. It usually comes from a place of wounding. And a lot of the time, I've even noticed this, that when I'm feeling negative, and let's say I get a Reiki session done um, from a friend or I do Reiki on myself, my whole energy, my frequency elevates and I no longer feel negative. I no longer feel heavy. So a lot of the time, you guys, we just need some effing healing, okay? It's not, and the minute we get some healing, we won't feel like that. We won't feel envious or we won't feel jealous or we won't feel scarcity, you know what I'm saying? So. I want you guys to journal some shit, like really get in, get, get inside of that heart of yours, get, because you guys don't trust a lot of people, or maybe you could talk to a Virgo or a cancer. I'm getting Virgo and cancer about how you're feeling and why you're feeling the way that you're feeling and then discover it. And if this is like a friend to you, maybe you can 
you know, I always say, you know, when I did my girls group um, with my case managing um, coworker, we, we uh, had like a beautiful one year program for a girls group in high school. And we ran this group together. And one of the themes we talked about was jealousy within friendships. And, you know, the kids wanted to talk about how to keep healthy friendships um, because a big one that a lot of my students talked about was envy. Like, believe it or not, like these little 15 year olds, um, super smart, very intelligent and emotionally intelligent about experiencing a lot of comparison that they would admit that they felt um, envious of their friends or their family because they had this in the, you know, anyway. So what we did was we had separate activities where we would write in a journal an experience where we had where we felt that way, what we did about it and what we could do different like the next time we feel that way. So I think this is a great opportunity for you guys to explore it, journal it, write it out. Like, where's this coming from? A lot of the time, it's not the person. It's the idea that you don't have their quality when you do. Or again, it could be them doing this to you. So write down a few ways how you can react towards them. Maybe some kindness. Kill them with kindness, girl. I don't know. You know? So let's talk about love, Scorpio. What's going on with love? Okay, some of you guys have been obsessing over an Aries, a Sag, Leo, or there's been a lot of sex going on with this person. Okay, there's a lot of passion um, or obsessing over this person. I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. Okay, yeah, you're you, <laughs> Scorpio, you guys have been feeling bound. Um, I'm getting like visions of a lot of sexual energy here. So a lot of you guys have been really um, lusting over a fire sign. There's been a desire to want this person. This person might be married or they're already in a connection. They're already with someone, but the sex is so damn good. You guys are always going back to this person is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm hearing karmic cycles. This person is a karmic partner and it's like, you cannot detach yourself from this person. I do feel that there is an intoxication with your sexual energy. There's like an unhealthy cord that needs to be cut because this is not a healthy sexual connection. This is more about power. This is more about power for both of you and you're both wounded. I feel like you and this fire sign have, if you, if you really look at your childhood wounds, you're mirroring your same childhood here. So that's really why there's this obsession, okay? Um, that's for who it's for. For others with um, Scorpio, please, love. Some of you guys just broke it off with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you're waiting for this person to come back. This person might be the child, um, excuse me, the father of your child. Um, you're waiting, you're waiting. Like I'm having a vision that a lot of you guys are getting real clear about this connection. You're tired of, the, of your divine masculine walking out. This is somebody's divine masculine, your counterpart, twin flame soulmate. You're becoming real clear about this shit. You're like, I, I can't handle another lie. This person lies a lot. I don't know why they lie a lot. Like being honest with you is really hard for them. And a lot of you guys are not really understanding this, this concept because Scorpios appreciate honesty. So Scorpio in love. Some of you guys recently got a tattoo of this person's name on you somewhere is what I heard. Or this person got a tattoo of your name. Um, but the overall feeling here is that the four of pentacles, you guys are really holding on to your stability there's someone here who's been in and out of your life and I feel like it's this air sign. This person has been a mess. Like they've been in and out of your life and you don't want to deal with it. Um, you're trying to hold on to your already existing um, stability. You want to hold on to yourself. You don't want to deal with this person who's wishy-washy. Um, but you're also kind of checking in to see if they're going to come back for you. You still love this person. You still want this person. This is deep. Like, this is like a love though. This is like love. This is not lust for you. This is like deep, honey. 
and you just you want commitment from this person and this person has every reason a why in in the the moon and back of why they don't want to commit to you there's a lack of give and take a lot of you guys have been giving to this connection with this air sign and you're tired they really like having fun with you maybe hooking up with you and a lot of you guys are like well what else are we gonna have more like what else you know what i'm saying like you guys really are looking forward to that next step you can also be dealing with a um cancer scorpio pisces so scorpio You know what I just heard? Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next. Somebody here. Y'all about to be done with somebody. You're done. There, the truth is coming out. Some of you guys have healed from the shit. You're done with the shit. You're like, listen. If you have a child with this person, a lot of you guys are taking your child and you're walking away. If you don't have children, you're deciding to choose your happiness instead of this person because you no longer want to be played a fool this person is not committing they are not committing i'm sorry i'm sorry cross watchers don't get triggered your air sign this air sign person especially libra they're not committing to this connection because this person um they want to be free they just want to be free and they're going to give you the runaround okay there's just, it's too heavy for you. This connection here is causing so much instability in your heart chakra and your emotions. It's driving you nuts. So you're better off just cutting, cutting your ties while you can now so it doesn't drag you down. Listen, you got, Scorpio, don't play. This air sign, honey, is, is keeping you in a mental prison. We talked about mental prisons. Don't do it. It's time to let go. This person does not want to, to come into union the way you want to come into union. Their, their, you know, their definition of relationship is part-time. Not even part-time, honey. It's quarter-time. So, And you guys don't love like that. Scorpios don't love like that unless you've been really hurt. If you've been really hurt, Scorpios can love in a very detached way. Like they'll, they'll F you and then they'll leave. Or they'll pay you to leave. Scorpios are bosses like that. After sex, you'll be like, all right, you good? All right, I'll, I'll call up a, a Uber for you. Bye. So just learn. This is about learning about your wounding, Scorpio. Don't repeat cycles for the sake of, of um, being a masochist. Don't be masochistic, okay? It's affecting your coin. This is affecting your money and affecting other opportunities that are trying to come in for you. All right, I hope that helped. Mwah. Bye.